Hoi there, today we are All Classic Gamer here making a very special educational video. So, as you can guys see, uh, I have a little problem on the newest video I uploaded. Well, now this one is gonna be the newest one, but now it is this one, and I have a little problem. If we look at the example here, when I type Pac Man. We can see that this one got monetized without any problem. So, I have no idea what happened, but as you can guys see, this one got matched third party content. So, what we're gonna do now, we're gonna check out more detail what, what is this. So, they say that on the time stop of the. Of, uh, 4 minutes and 43 seconds that the visual content is administrated by Nintendo. But if we go here, if we go here, you can see only thing we can see on that time step is my face and the part of the notification that content is uh, not that might have some mature rating or something like that can release yeah may inappropriate for children nintendo does not own this tab and nintendo certainly does not own my face as for the rest of the video all the content used in the video is under fair use because this is this is clearly classified under fair use because it is transformative nature. I did not upload the straight uh, a straight trailer for new character, just the trailer. No, I didn't. It had my voice in it, my face. This is my reaction, and this is under fair use. So, this was obviously auto claimed because it got claimed the second uh, it got uploaded. And Nintendo is not that fast, so. We have two options right here, to acknowledge this claim or dispute it. So, in this video, I'm going to teach you how to properly dispute the videos, because as number one, I can always use this time step as a proof that nothing on this particular time is owned by Nintendo, and the second, the whole video is covered under fair use, which means that I have full right to monetize the video, so I'm going to dispute it. I believe this claim is not valid. What we're gonna do now, we have all these options. We can use this one because my use of content meets the legal requirements for fair use or fair dealing under up applicable copyright laws. So we're gonna we're gonna go here and we're gonna yes, I'm sure this video meets legal requirements. Now we're gonna continue, so make sure this is ticked so this get this claim Nintendo is then gonna see this notification. Select this and you understand that feeling fraud and uh, disputes may result the termination of YouTube account. While yeah, it's uh, possible that they're gonna do it, uh, but it's only if you are uh, if you are basically trying to frame something uh, so yeah, don't uh, don't take it like as uh, something that is going to happen to you because this is unfair use and if something happens with this, if something goes wrong, going to be making more tutorials uh, on it how to resolve those issues. And then what you want to paste is copyright disclaimer under section 107 of Copyright Act. 1976 and all this uh, stuff uh, that is there for fair use so yeah this is criticism this is this i'm not criticizing this negatively in this video news reporting this can go there as new reporting uh research uh teaching well not really but you get the point this is under fair use so what we're gonna do is we're gonna dispute this click continue and submit dispute. Come on, submit it. Yeah, I'm sure. And now the dispute is being submitted. Now, what is happening? What is basically happening is, uh, let me just show it 
or second. Now it's gonna change the status here to disputed party matched content. As you can see, I already have some more disputes. This one, this one was disputed, but Nintendo actually rejected the dispute for the unboxing video. Unboxing videos are like the most basic fair use you can ever you can ever have if you unbox someone's product. So uh, we have option to appeal, which is what I'm gonna be showing it how to do as an educational example in the another video. But now, what am I gonna do before doing anything? See all these other disputed videos. Uh, I'm going. I'm gonna basically wait uh, for a result, and uh, we can click there. You can see that there is a time uh, when uh, we're gonna wait. So, if by this time, this is 13th August. If by that time, Nintendo does not respond to my dispute. The video is gonna be, the video is gonna be back. I mean, it's still there, but the video is gonna be able for monetizing, and I'm gonna be able to earn uh, money off it. And all the, because right now, all the views and everything, it's now on limbo. So now, now neither me or Nintendo are earning money off this video. No, no, no person is now doing getting anything from it. If I if I win the dispute, all the money go to me, and if Nintendo wins, all the money goes to them. But uh, then we're going on the appeal process. You're probably wondering what happens then. Well, if they reject the appeal, you can you're gonna have a strike on your channel right here. But what is gonna happen next? We can then submit counter notification for a strike. And then Nintendo will have to either file an injunction in real life and sue me in 14 days uh, when I submit counter notification, or they're gonna have no choice if they don't wanna sue me in real life. But the video is gonna be back, it's gonna be monetized, I'm gonna be earning money, and the account is gonna be in good standing. So, in the end, Whatever the case is, uh, I'm gonna get this video monetized one day, but you just need to be patient. And to all of you people, if you have any sort of problems on your videos like this, so if you have matched third party content, just do what I did and dispute it. And once you, once you do it, it's basically gonna be pending here. Uh, just copy paste this, I'm gonna have it in the description of this video and you should expect your video to be uh, restored. If it gets rejected, uh, then wait for another tutorial of me and I'm going to tell you what to do next. The reason why am I not doing a, a appeal right now is because I just want to wait patiently for all these to see how it's gonna go. So, as for the Nintendo, it's more like trial and error, like if they're gonna read the email, they're gonna automatically reject it. But for some people, it happened that they did not uh, find the message for on, you on YouTube, like that somebody disputed the video, and they don't respond to it. And after one month, the video gets monetized. I, I know the cases of people who done it like that. I know also the cases of uh, people getting a strike for just uploading video. No, they didn't even wait for dispute or anything, they just uh, striked the video automatically because they were, I don't know, recording a, a walkthrough of some new game. Well, if it had commentary then it's unfair, if it didn't have commentary then uh, you can't really fight it because it'll be illegal. Um, so yeah, you gotta be careful when you submit to know what is under fair use and whatnot. If you're not sure just tell me what video is in question, and uh, I'm going to be take a look at it and tell you is it is it fair is it fair use or or not. So you know if you wanna do this kind of action or not because uh, you don't want to be doing uh, stuff illegally in this way. So gotta be careful. Well, that's pretty much it. Hope you enjoyed and good luck restoring your videos. Gonna be making updates once when all these videos are gone or if I get another strike uh, or something but then I'm just gonna submit counter notification and if they don't sue me in real life it's gonna be back on YouTube so yeah see you guys later